Example two, use KCL to determine the phasor current and voltage associated with each element in the following diagram. Express all answers as phasors in the time domain and then draw the phasor diagram. So we'll circle this top node and label it V. The bottom node is already labeled ground and it's already in the frequency domain. So we don't need to do any conversions. We just need to apply KCL and solve. So the source current IS is equal to IC plus IL plus IR, and that's our KCL equation. So we can write that as three is equal to V over negative J3 plus V over J6 plus V over 12. And when we solve for the voltage, we get that the voltage is equal to 16.09 with an angle of negative 63 degrees or 7.2 minus J 14.4 volts. So using that, we can now find the current through the capacitor as V over negative J3. V over negative J3 is equal to 5.366 with an angle of 26.57 degrees. Or in rectangular form, we get 4.8 plus J 2.4 amps. Next, we will find the current through the inductor. The current through the inductor is V over J6. V over J6 yields 2.68 with an angle of negative 153 degrees, or in rectangular form, negative 2.4 minus J 1.2 amps. And the current through the resistor is V over 12. So V over 12 is going to yield 1.34 with an angle of negative 63.43 degrees, or in rectangular form, we can write that as 0.6 minus J 1.2 amps. So next we will write the answers in the time domain or in the sinusoidal steady state. And the first value we're going to write is I C of T. Recall these are RMS values. So we're going to write I C of T is equal to 5.366 square root of two cosine omega T plus 26.57 degrees. Notice we don't know what omega is, so we just put omega. Then IL of T is going to equal 2.68 square root of two cosine omega T minus 153 degrees. And finally, IR of T is going to equal 1.34 square root of two cosine omega T minus 63.43 degrees. So next we will use a phasor diagram to confirm KCL for our circuit analysis. So we are going to show that IC plus IL plus IR adds up to our source current. So here's our phasor diagram and our first vector is going to be IC. IC makes an angle of 26.57 degrees with the real axis and has a length of 5.366. And then we're going to sketch the vector IR. IR makes an angle with the horizontal of negative 63.43 degrees and has a length of 1.34. And then we are going to make the vector um, IL with an angle of negative 153 degrees. And it has a length of 2.68. And then this sums to IS, which is equal to three with an angle of zero degrees. Example three, use KCL to determine the phasor current IX, express your answer as a phasor and in the time domain. So we are given a circuit here in the time domain with a source 20 cosine 4T and a current controlled current source 2IX. So our first task is going to be to redraw the circuit in the frequency domain which means writing sources as phasors and writing the passive circuit elements as impedances. So omega is four radians per second. So our voltage source is going to be 20 with an angle of zero degrees. Our resistor is going to be 10 ohms.
the impedance of the capacitor is going to be negative J over omega C or negative J over four times 0 0.1, which is equal to negative J 2.5 ohms. The impedance of the inductor is going to be J omega L. So that's going to be J times four times 0 0.5, which is J two ohms. Then we're gonna label our bottom node ground, our top node V, and then we are going to write the KCL equation at node V. So we're going to have V minus 20 over 10 plus V over negative J 2.5 plus V over J2 equals 2IX. Our constraint based upon our dependent source is that IX is equal to V over negative J 2.5. So you would then substitute equation two into equation one to solve for V. And we're going to have V over 10 plus V over negative J 2.5 plus V over J2 minus 2V over negative J 2.5 equals 20 over 10, which is two. And so then when we solve for that node voltage, we get that the node voltage is equal to 2.2 with an angle of 83.65 degrees. In rectangular form, we can write that as 0 0.244 plus J 2.195 volts. So IX is equal to V over negative J 2.5. And now that we know what V is, we can find IX and we get that IX is equal to 0 0.883 with an angle of 173 degrees and the units are amps. In the time domain, we would have that IX of T is equal to 0 0.883 cosine 4T plus 173 degrees. So this concludes today's lecture on AC circuit analysis using KVL and KCL. I hope you'll come back and join us again.